Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me Shankar Banda and welcome back to another Code Your Own Discord Bot Discord J series. In today's episode, we're going to be going over how you guys can create selection menus using Discord JS V13. And so basically what selection menus are, they're basically uh, a menu that the bot will return and then the user will be able to choose a certain option and then based on that selected option, the bot will output a result. So as you can see here, we have this mongoose.js file over here. That's basically what we created last time in the last episode, um, episode three, where we created a database for a bot. And if you haven't checked out that video, make sure you check that out. It's very crucial. And if you guys are completely new here, make sure to check out the first two episodes in this series as they're very crucial as we go over how you can set up your own Discord bot, how you can get this project running, and basically get all the fundamentals needed for this entire episode series. Okay, now without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I'm going to go ahead and close this mongoose.js since we won't be needing it today. And I have this ping.js. Essentially, I'm going to copy it for now. And I'm going to go to my commands folder. And let's actually go over here and collapse the um, node modules. Okay. And then I'm going to go to commands and then I'm going to go to the information folder and then go to ping.js, which we just copied. And then we're going to create a new file there called it city.js. So the selection menu that we're going to be using today is going to be where the bottom will output a city selection menu and then the user can choose their favorite city of theirs and then based on that the bot will output a result so let's paste that into city.js and now that we've done that we actually need to add some stuff here alright so first thing I'm going to do is create another const so const message action row and a message uh, selection menu because we're going to be utilizing that uh, and it's going to be select menu select menu and we're going to just to require discord.js like that and then command city and let's say this is a let's this command will give a menu to choose your favorite city okay and over here we are gonna get rid of this for now and then we're gonna pass in client as well since we're going to be utilizing a form of embed which is the selection menu and for that we need to pass in client and then we're going to do create a const row is equal to new message action row like that and then I'm going to do add components and then do new message selection select menu and then I'm going to create some methods like just how we do for embeds and if you're unsure about how to create embeds for now feel free to check out the v12 embeds tutorial which I created last year However, I'll be creating a new embeds video uh, very shortly for V13. Okay, so now I'm going to do set custom ID. And then this custom ID is basically very important and I'll talk about it in just a moment. So in this case, I'll just do city select. Okay, so what the custom ID does is basically whenever the user selects an option in the select menu, the bot will check whether or not it matches with the ID. And then based on that, it will create the interaction. Okay. And then we're going to do another one, set placeholder. It's another method. And we're just going to put, it, please select your favorite city. You can customize this to your liking. And okay. Now we're going to do set min values. And we're going to do one and then set max, set max values and then one. So basically what this does is the min value is basically the number of options, the minimum number of options the user has to choose in the selection menu. And similarly, the max values is the maximum number of values the user can select. So in this case, the minimum value that the user must select is one and the maximum value that they can select is one as well. Okay, and then now that we've done that, we're gonna add some options. So add options, and then we're gonna pass in an array. So we're gonna do, first of all, label which is basically the name or the title of our option so in this case we're going to do city so 
I'm gonna do San Francisco since I'm from the Bay Area, so I gotta show myself some love. And then I'm gonna do description, set description, and then I'll just do also this should be a string. So and then comma. Okay, so for the description I'm gonna just put welcome to Haley San Francisco. And if you're a local to San Francisco, you will know what I mean when I say welcome to Hilly San Francisco. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is give it a value. So I'm going to type value. I'm going to just do, I'm going to bold it. So double asterisk and then San Francisco. This is essentially what the bot will return if you select San Francisco. And now I'm going to basically copy this array or this value in the array like five or six times for each for a different city I believe there is a comma after each value so, so let's do that I'll click okay I'm gonna change the names and descriptions of all these cities off the video since there's no point in showing that so we'll be right back alright guys so as you can see here I have filled in all the cities and with the proper description and I've also pasted in emojis for each of the cities because as you know all of these are strings and you can put whatever you want in strings including emojis and I've also given the value um, double asterisks like I stated earlier because this will give it a bold effect when the bot uh, puts the answer and I also given to each of the cities a brief description and like I said earlier you can change this to your liking okay and now that should be good to go what we're going to do is just close this off with a semicolon and then finally what we're going to do is await interaction dot reply await interaction dot reply and then we're going to do braces over here and then do content then we're going to do we'll just type what is your favorite city and then I'm going to do components and it's going to be the, the constant row that we created earlier, so row. Just like that. And put a semicolon over here. And our city.js file is completed now. Now we're going to do is head on over to our interaction create.js. So actually what you can do is first of all file save all. And then go to interaction create.js. And this is what we created in episode 2 and where we created our functions handler, command handler, and event handler. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check it out. And okay, so now that we have this here, what we're gonna do is first of all require the cities. So const cities is equal to require. And we're gonna require, we're gonna put in the location of the city.js file like we've done previously. So I'm gonna do dot dot slash command slash information slash city and then we're going to do a colon here and then we're going to do a name interaction create and that's all good and as such what we're going to do is copy this const command and then we want to basically first of all we need to copy all of this And then we want to create a if statement. So if interaction dot is command like that. And if that's true, what we're going to do is basically paste in all of the code that we created here, and we can get rid of this. Okay. And then there seems to be a formatting error. Let's first of all control all right click format document. And then we're gonna just get rid of that for now. And with that being done, what we need to do is and do an else if statement over here. Else if interaction is select menu. Basically, if it's not a command and if it's a menu, we're gonna do we're gonna create the interaction. So interaction dot custom ID. And here we are using the custom ID that we created earlier. So that's why I said it's very important that we have the custom ID created and make sure it's the same. And then what we're going to do over here is create a let cities. And it's going to be basically an empty string. Just like that. And then we're going to type await interaction dot 
values for each and then we're going to do async value open that up and then we're going to essentially do cities plus equals backtick dollar sign value okay so essentially what that is doing is it's taking the string of cities and then whatever we selected from our interaction and it's adding it onto the value and then we're going to just reply that out as our output with that being done we can put a semicolon over here and then create a final await interaction dot reply and then this time i'm going to do another curly braces same thing as last time content and then your favorite city is another dollar sign cities and then just like that put a semicolon over here and close that and also we're going to put a space over here all right with that being done we need to first of all put a bracket over here close that and put the bracket for that over here and with that being done we should be good to go so let's save the code and go to our terminal npm run test okay so it said start your refreshing application command successfully reload your application commands and ready log in at Sean's test bot and we've successfully connected to the database and if you aren't sure uh, how do you can connect your discord bot to the database make sure again check out episode 3 where I showed that in detail however now let's go to our discord server and check out if our selection menu works so here we are at our discord server as you can see our bot is online now let's try the command of city as you can see it pops up this command will give a menu to choose your favorite city let's do enter and as you can see it says what is your favorite city and we get a drop down and the default placeholder is please select your favorite city now let's select san francisco as you can see it says your favorite city is san francisco and if we want what we can do is actually type city again so as you can see now we want to select los angeles all right as you can see automatically whenever you select one city it gives you an output how about if you want to select multiple cities we all have favorite cities like hey how about if two of my favorite cities is san francisco and let's say washington dc so what we're going to do is go back to our visual studio code and basically change the minimum and maximum value but in this case just the maximum value and let's see how that will so we're right here at back in visual studio code what we're going to do is set max value and we're going to set that to two so let's go back to our uh, discord server and let's try city now and let's try San Francisco and let's put in Los Angeles oh okay, we forgot to save the code so let's go back and save the code save all make sure to always save the code npm run test okay let's go to the discord server and check it out city and let's do San Francisco and as you can see now we get the option to select multiple cities and now let's, let's click on it it says your favorite cities is San Francisco Los Angeles so there you guys have it now you know how you can create your own selection menu in discord JSV 13 and if you like this video make sure to give it a like share this video with your friends and family comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video or any other tech related topic I'll gladly help out and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.